How are the boys, Clyde? Are they uh, fatigued? They looked a little bit fatigued the last few minutes, and I think you've been contributed to the goal. Fetching a bit slow, moving up to the right foot. Yeah, a little bit concerned, and I did address that in the dressing room, believe it or not. Um, we do look a little bit heavy-legged towards the end. I know the, um, the three weeks, not that it's an excuse, because every team has been in that position, so I'm not going to sit here and try to defend that. But, uh, yeah, we did look a little bit leggy towards the end, and that might have contributed to our, to our... But you're saying that all teams are in the same position, so I'm a bit concerned by that. What about, obviously, the scoring of goals here? How did you see that? What was going on there? Lack of composure or, you know? Uh... Yeah, I think that we were a little bit, um, as much as we huffed and puff, as we say back in England, we huffed and puff a little bit. Um, we didn't really create that final, in the, the final third of the football pitch. We were kind of lacking this, the quality, uh, you know, and which is what you need to unlock defenders. And I think we were just lacking that, that moment when we get it in certain good position. We didn't really capitalise the ball, we're pretty poor, so our quality has been a little bit off this time around. Would you, would you rather, in some cases, Dwight, some of the times the guys are getting into good positions but then pulling back, would you rather they just shoot on sight kind of vibe? Well, they, they get caught in between and, and young Jed is probably an ideal candidate for that, but he's still learning, he's still a young man. Um, he's, not, he's never played in the A-League, so we've got to be a little bit lenient, but hopefully that would be a little bit of an area that we need to improve with him. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, those, those are the areas that they're getting caught up in between and I, I encourage my players to take on the responsibility to shoot and I think it's something that uh, hopefully going forward will be better. Just Azani came off in the second half, he also got a bang to the shoulder, what's the story there? Yeah, I'm not sure, we gotta, we're going to assess that, we take about 48 hours to find out the exact diagnosis of, of those injuries or the knocks that he's got, um, he doesn't look too serious but it's very difficult to say and uh, I think it's once it's uh, 48 hours is settled then you'll probably get a, a clearer understanding but hopefully it's not too serious. Were you happy with kind of how that, that was officiated? There was a lot of kind of heavy treatment it felt from the victory guys, especially on Daniel and, 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 and Uli in particular. Yeah, uh, well, it's something that we are very concerned about. Um, we seem to be single out because we got two exciting players and team seems to target one and two of our players. Um, some heavy tackles going in there. I think the referees need to protect uh, particularly th those two players um, because of the quality that they have. Um, I felt that we don't get the rubber to green and sometimes that the referee uh, are not as protected. But like I said, I'm not going to like sort of point the fingers at referees too much. Um, they already got a hard enough job, but they, they need to just look at it a little bit closer. Uli, coming back, you're happy with what you saw? You kind of really brought that spark to... Yeah, he's key to us for success. He's such a, uh, an inspiration to us all. He's a leader. He's a talisman. He's... What you want in your captain, um, it's good to have him back. We've still got to be a little bit cautious because at the end of the day, even though we, you know, the defeat wasn't one that we sort of uh, thought we would have had today, um, we got to look at the bigger picture come, you know, um, you know, a couple more weeks and months down the line where it comes down to the business end. That's where we want to be and Oli is going to be a crucial part of it. So him coming off of long-term injuries, we needed to make sure and be mindful um, and protect him a little bit, but certainly when he comes off, he's kind of unsettled our balance a little bit. It's clear that that happens, um, but uh, we got a game plan and we stick to that, which was to give him 70 minutes today. Yep. Yep. Disappointing, as you mentioned, with the result. How, what were your words to the players to turn this in the next week against the Glory? Knowing the Glory has come off a win just last night, there won't be an easy touch target next week? No, there is no easy target here. Uh, I would be very silly of me or any of my players to think that there is an easy game. Um, we know the A-League is a tough league and you've got to be, uh, you know, you must be able to bounce back. That's one of the things that we've been able to do so far this season. Um, and uh, we, we need to do that. Um, we need to obviously get rid of this result just uh, today. Um, I think in the next 48 hours that will then dust the players down. It's my job to make sure and get the players uh, prepared and refocus again. But we're certainly not going into to put glory or and uh, thinking that uh, you know that we're going to be taking this this game lightly. We need to to, to turn it around. And uh, what what good teams usually do is get uh, bounced back very quickly. Um, Dwight, just to what extent have you seen a trend in the A that you mentioned there about the way that players like Daniel Lazar they, they get kicked around a little bit? Is that a trend that you've sort of seen across the league in your time here? 
Um, well, usually the good players get kicks. You know, they get <laughs> they get kicked all the time. So you know, we got we we have a couple of good players here that uh, that really attracts um, the physical side of it. But these players just got to be man up. Uh, but ultimately, if you're gonna be kicking our players, you need to be protected. And and uh, I don't think they. They've been protected as well as they should, um, but it's part and parcel of the game. Like I've said, the A League, you got to. It's there's a physicality to to the A League and uh, across any league. It's you got to you got to be man enough. You know, it's a man sport, um, and so we got to be able to deal with the physicality, um, especially with the kind of players that we have. We have to be clever enough to to endure that and make sure that from our standpoint that we're not being, I won't say bully, but we we certainly be able to compete with people who are physical to us as well. Just a concern on the concussion for Anthony Carter. How's that going? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He just took a bang to his head, but he's fine. There's no issue there.